store to get some early morning groceries. <laughs> Daddy and I have been out of town for a day or two. I need caffeine yes, for sure. groceries. <laughs> guys gonna do a quick grocery haul for you so here's a general overview of everything so this is kind of a, a miniature grocery run um, sometimes we go to Sam's to get big stuff so this will probably handle us for about three four days a couple meals here so we've got Greek yogurt almond milk a couple of us use that this is my favorite dressing so every time I run out I snag that dad got hot stuff and soy glaze, don't know what that's for. This is my favorite creamer, the almond milk vanilla creamer. Just use a little bit, works really good. And Prego, okay, so we usually use one and a half of these. So this will be two lunches then. Apples, um, taco salad, we like to use the black beans, got four cans of those, and some corn. Orange juice. Um, two of these probably be for breakfast. We'll probably drink both of these. Um, and then I got one with some pulp in it because I like pulp and no one else does. You know, survival skill. Um, Tom's milk, one, two, three. So that'll be for probably two breakfasts, maybe. Maybe one, depending on how many people are having cereal. And then pumpkin spice. That's mostly for Devin. That's her favorite. Eggnog because... We like eggnog, and we're pretending it's close enough to Christmas to allow that. And then some of this stuff. Dad likes this stuff, and we're seeing Dennison loves olives, so we're going to see if he maybe likes that. And then Dad wanted some liver cheese as a memory flavor or something. I don't know. Ugh. Pimento spread. This stuff is really good with um, saltines, mostly. And toothpicks. Um, turkey. Okay, so this is about six pounds of sliced turkey. We like to get it on the number one. And about, actually, no, this one was ten pounds. Sorry, ten pounds of turkey. This is six pounds of roast beef. We've got American cheese. And yeah, this will only last us for maybe one lunch. We usually get the big one from Sam. It's got like 160 slices in it. Butter. I um, already did that. We're on oats. So quick oats. Yeah, we usually use one of these per breakfast. Or um, if anyone wants to kind of make just a little bit for their own breakfast. And spaghetti, this is obviously nowhere near enough spaghetti, but we had some, just kind of a supplementation for what we already have. 
the cheese. So we've got the Colby Jack and the shredded Mexican. So yeah, we'll use maybe one of these per meal. And taco, well, ground beef, it'll be taco meat. Um, we'll probably use two or three of these, probably, no, no, I'll be honest, probably all four um, for lunch. And then two bags of the big stir fry blend. So we'll use one or both um, for the meal with um, fajita chicken and I don't know, some people like to put salsa on it, kind of a Mexican twist, some like the soy stuff like Dad got. Eggs, so this is like, we use probably one to two of these per breakfast, and then the rest will hard boil. And bread, so yeah, this, four loaves is usually two lunches, maybe maybe one, like I said, depends on how hungry. And then Dad likes the liver sausage with the white bread only, so we just got one of those because we use the whole wheat for everything else. So yeah, that's that's everything for our technically miniature haul. Yeah. What what are you eating right now? You made a smoothie. Who made it? That's my name. You have all of your smile. <laughs> in my name. Like, in my okay. Name. Bye. Bye. Rodriguez, so for all of you who've heard the Don't Miss Me song on my album, this guy, this guy, this guy, but we are about to go in for the first time, I've been looking forward to this concert for a very long time, and uh, Dustin Lynch, and Randy Hauser, and Luke Bryan, who are, oh, I'm excited, I'm excited, we're standing out here in front of the Y100 booth, and we were thinking, way up here. So, we're excited. We'll keep you all in touch with you about the footage and the huge line. How's it going? Uh, we are on a vlog. You want to be on a vlog? I'm, yeah, I'm actually a country music artist, so uh, I'm vlogging. I'm here to watch. Yep. So. This lady wants to be on our blog. What's up? I'm at Y100. She's from Y100. She's cool. So, awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, we'll see you later. All right. So I'm still standing out here. So y'all can be the first to know, I'm running for the Luke Bryan look-alike at the Y100 booth. And I think you get upgraded seats or something like that, which I don't really need, but I thought it'd be fun. And so we just did. I actually got asked by the Y100 people, a couple of them, to, to run. So I think my chances are good, and they're putting me through twice. Have more news for y'all. We just got told by security we are not allowed to take this camera that I have inside. And so we're walking about 600 miles, feels like, back to the car to put this poor thing away. So we kind of have to hustle up, excuse me. But So we're gonna hurry back. We got time. I'm hungry. I wanna get food. Nick's tailing me. And uh, we'll see y'all after the show. I'll, I'll get some footage on my iPhone. Don't worry. It's between us.
expert. <laughs> hey ladies, welcome back. Now to get started, I want to introduce you to my two assistants. This is Hayden and Hanson. Now they are two of fitness's best. So be sure to follow every move or motion they make during this workout. All right, let's get started by jogging it out, guys. Okay, no need for elaborate stretching. Just jog it out. <sighs> All right, I'm too tired to go straight with Luna. All right, you see how Hayden is flailing her arms uselessly? Follow her and you're sure to get injured. Now Hanson here, oh, Hanson is imagining he's running. This is the modification. All right, guys, make sure you breathe, okay? All right, make sure you drink your Bartholomew after this workout. Follow the eating plan I gave you. All junk food and terribleness and you'll be well on your way to that stunning body. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!